Hi, I'm Tony the Inventor of the Hair Fin, and I don't know if you saw me on Shark Tank, but I've been growing my hair out since I was on the show so that I could demo our new 5 and 6 inch hair fin. My hair has been getting a little messy, and today I'm going to be cleaning it up. We're going to get started first by wetting my hair. Wetting the hair is going to help it clump together and make it easier for you to see not just what's going on with your hair, but also make it easier to cut it evenly. So I'm gonna start with the six inch fin here and I'm gonna do that for the top of my head and then I'm gonna work my way down to a five, a four, and a three all the way down at the sides and then I'll even clean it up a little bit. Now, I've been cutting my hair in a mirror here for a while so if you haven't done that before, you wanna get some help from somebody else. Since I'm cutting my own hair, I'm also gonna be using a beard trimmer instead of a pair of scissors to avoid getting any bloody knuckles. Now I have seen some people have trouble with holding the guide. Make sure you've got it slid all the way back between your fingers and try and keep your hands straight. That'll help also. Okay, and I think that's looking pretty good. So we got the hair a nice even six inches on top there. So now I'm going to move to the five, and I'm going to keep it kind of just around this top portion of my head. One of the things that you can do with this longer size is once you've got the hair fin in place, you can kind of bring your hand around so you can better see what you're cutting. All right, so it looks like I've got pretty much everything that I wanted to cut down to the five inch cut. So now we're looking like we got not a bad haircut, but getting to have a little bit of a mullet. So, you know, you might like that. I really, personally, I don't mind having a little bit of a mullet. I think it looks cool, but we're gonna make this a cleaner cut because people wanna see the cleaner cut. And, you know, we care a little bit about our hair, just not too much. So now I'm gonna go on and uh, I'm gonna start cleaning up this lower part. So we did the five and now we're gonna fade down to the four. And for this one, I'm just gonna keep my hand kind of parallel to the side of my head. Fun fact, this is the actual trimmer that I did use on Shark Tank. It didn't seem to cut very well for the, uh, for the show, but I didn't have a mirror to look in either. You know, one of the interesting things is my hair was all even when I when I cut it last because I was using the hair fins, but your hair actually does not grow out at the same length. And it certainly seems like the hair, you know, towards the bottom and side of my neck actually grew faster. Of course, when you're measuring it, you want to make sure that you have your hand parallel to your head. Now, one, one smart customer did tell me, like, your hand isn't really parallel to your hand, it's actually tangential. So, yeah, hold your hand parallel to a tangential point on your head, and then you'll get a nice even cut. Now the fins can be used on either hand, so it actually works out easier to switch hands. And again, see how I'm kind of holding my hand flat? It's easier to, it's actually easier to grasp the hair when you grasp it between all your fingers and then keep your hand flat like that.
personally, I mean, I, I just go through and clean it up with the four inch, but we're gonna, we're gonna do one step further. We're gonna make this even a little bit cleaner and I'm gonna do the three inch. Just around the ears, I'm gonna do the three inch and then the lower part of the back of my head. I'm gonna keep my hand angled down a little bit because I wanna leave that four and just like I had my hand a little bit angled with the five and then kept it parallel to the side of my head with the four, now I'm gonna start to angle a little bit to, so I can fade down with the three. Obviously with the shorter lengths, it's getting a little harder to get the back of the head for sure. The nice thing about these fins is they stop you from cutting too short and they help you find the hairs that you didn't cut. So now that we see where my hairline is kind of at, we want to try and clean up anything to that hairline. So I'm just going to look over here and I'm pulling my hair down so that it's about at my ear, but now I'm just going to grab there's just a few stragglers right there. There we go, a little bit longer, longer haircut, but we cleaned it all up here on the side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair and then uh, I'll be right back. And here it is. And this is with six inch, six inch long hair on top. This is not a short cut, but man, I'm surprised myself how clean this uh, cut came out. I'm gonna have to start wearing a suit or something over here. I think next time, I might go back and do a little bit more of a mullet. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I might miss the mullet. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, there's more coming, so uh, thanks for watching.